last week you guys really enjoyed my Barbie Ken doll cake, or so I thought. But a lot of little kids, yes I knew there were little kids who were commenting because if you do not know the difference between yours versus you are, then you are a little kid. They didn't really like my cake, they wanted to report me to their mother, well please do. But in the meantime, for you little kids, here is a more PG cake. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? How would they know? How would they know? I can't. I can't. I just, I can't. Oh my god! Can anyone tell me why Food TikTok is not number one on the platform? Those top dance creators, all they do is take dances from other people. Meanwhile, I'm in the kitchen all day cooking different dishes, new flavors. Where is the love at for Food TikTok? I'm about to start dancing though. They're making money. Day rocky road. So I started off by chopping up some white chocolate and then got these lollies and cut them up just using the green parts. Got some green matcha pocky and chopped that up as well and melted down the chocolate and added in some green food coloring. I then poured a layer of that down into the bottom of a lined dish and placed some of the lollies down in the shape of hearts. I just thought that would be cute. And then poured the other ingredients over the top and got a little bit lazy by this stage and just kind of laid it up. I then set that in the fridge for a little bit and put a layer of white chocolate on top and thought it would be super cute to finish off with these little rainbows and shamrocks for the theme of St. Patrick's. I hope you enjoy. When you're Nobody's the baker of the know. family and everyone expects you to bring the cake. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. 
how would they know? How would they know? How would they know? I can't. I can't. I just, I can't. Oh my god! Does anyone else dream of garlic knots? Because same. Specifically, giant garlic knots with roasted garlic. So I made some and they were incredible. So roast some garlic by drowning it in olive oil and baking it 400 for about 40 minutes. I separated everything because I wanted the sprouts out. Get some pizza dough. I have a recipe up or just buy some like I did. No judgment here. I cut strips that were about an inch all around and 12 to 14 inches long. Tie them in a knot and a tail that looks like it should wrap under. Wrap under the tail that looks like it should wrap up. Wrap up and just like poke down the hole. Um, repeat with all of them and then make a braid if you want. I did obviously. Now get three tablespoons of melted butter, add two tablespoons of olive oil, a teaspoon of oregano, tablespoon freshly chopped parsley, one teaspoon of salt, and two to three tablespoons of grated parmesan. Mix it up. I somehow forgot about my delicious garlic and poured this mixture over my knots, remembered my garlic, and just smashed it up a bit more with some olive oil. Topped the knots with it, and I actually love what this did to them. Added some shredded parmesan on top, baked at 400 for about 15 minutes until golden and yum guys my name is jill and these are my controversial food opinions let me know if you want more so anything vanilla flavored is gross ketchup is gross barbecue sauce is gross ranch is gross anything ube flavored is delicious i've never eaten bad cinnamon roll and i never will licorice is disgusting buffalo sauce is the best condiment cheesecake is the best dessert corn and anything is gross popcorn is overrated and i very much enjoy eating dijon mustard but i feel like people will judge me for it and frappuccinos are a worse version of a milkshake Hey everyone, it's Ariana, and for all my cookie dough lovers who don't let a little salmonella stop them from eating half the bowl raw before baking, here's how you make the most heavenly and also safe edible cookie dough for one. Start with a half a cup of flour, which you microwave for about 30 seconds to get rid of any unwanted bacteria. Then add a tablespoon of white sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and a pinch of salt, mixing that in. Then you'll need a tablespoon of partially melted butter, a splash of vanilla, and a tablespoon of milk. Then add your chocolate chips or whatever toppings you like and give it a stir. This is too easy not to make, and it's my go-to midnight snack. The full recipe's on my Instagram. Instagram and follow for more. Hey, if you're watching this, it means a person using this sound is working hard toward their passion, and they would really appreciate it if you took two seconds to like and share this video.